So usually what I do is first I bring in a drawing. You can import to stage or you can just drag it into a layer and then make a new layer. Select the brush tool and select use pressure. Use pressure and then make sure the pressure is working. Occasionally the pressure will stop working and if that happens, I'm usually closing and reopening the program will help. You usually want to make sure your lines are all closed, uh, otherwise it might have issues with filling in the colors properly. Grab the paint bucket. So you want to bring the color in. Uh, under the solid color thing, change the types of gradient. So I'll choose a radial gradient, and then select this first color, and make that red, and then the second color of the gradient, make that a black. And then if you click in the eye here, and move around, you can move where the gradient is. The pink color for the nose. Uh, also, you can reselect them with the eyedropper tool. Uh, you can add it to swatches, which is this here. I'll just drag that in. So if you click Add to Swatches, it will add it in here. Go to the paintbrush, go to a darker color. If you have this setting here, you can change it from Paint Normal to Paint Inside. Basically, all this stuff is built to vector points. If you click on that, delete, click on that, delete, click on that, and maybe extend the spline a bit. The white arrow selects points, and the black arrow uh, will select the whole chunks of color. And one thing you can do is you can grab. You see how this is a little lumpy here? So if I were to delete that point, that point, that point, and then use the black selection tool, it'll it's basically working between the only two points that are there. Here is the finished drawing of the cat swordsman. I've got everything drawn in different layers. Here's the head, sword and hands together, the arm is on a layer, the other arms on another layer, body. Then what I do is to start setting up the animatable puppet. Click on the head layer. And then you hit the F8 key or modify convert to symbol. Convert it to a symbol. I always choose graphic and name it the same as the layer. And now I have a symbol. So if I click that, you see this little white dot in the center, that's your pivot point. So that's where it rotates around, and that's where it scales around, and it skews around. Select the sword, and I'll hit F8, call it sword, graphic, and then move that pivot. So here's just a quick trick. If you were to do all this on one layer instead and make all the different pieces and make them symbols but all within the same layer. So you select all of it uh, and then right click and say distribute to layers and it will make all your layers. Okay, so now I've got all the symbols built. They're all on separate layers. You need to set up other keyframes. So if you go up here, select it and then you right click, convert to keyframes convert this to keyframe, uh, and then if you click and drag, move them up. Or you can use the up arrow key. You can grab this, rotate it up, and when you have them all selected like this, you can grab the pivot. Right click on it, create classic tween. If you hit the loop key here, and oh, there you have, a, you have a loop. And here you see where it says classic ease. You can change it to ease in, ease out. One more thing I want to show, if you double click on a symbol, you go inside the symbol of the head. You can set up animation within the symbol. Convert to keyframe. So now you have two keyframes, one where the eyes are open, one where they're closed. And then if you go back out to your scene by clicking on scene, click on your the symbol of your head, and make sure you're in properties. You can use this frame picker. If you just change this to the single frame, uh, if you have it on loop, it'll constantly play the animation between the two, which can be good if, if that's something you want. If you got like a torch that's burning or something, and you want to loop the fire animation, it switches to the other frame. So on your keyframes, if you're uh, if you have an animation, you could add a blink, change a hand pose, and then you can add more in-betweens within the symbol as well.